first monarch I've seen this year. I think I might move that um, milkweed that I have back over here now. First, my neighbor is going to start weed locking. Awesome, though. <laughs> Monarchs are beautiful. It's checking out the flowers in the front. Oh, oh yep, here it comes back. Got a lot to choose from. I don't think I showed you guys the uh, <clears throat> new hibiscus blooming yet. Um, there's one popping out down there. Let's see. It's just starting to open. Uh, yeah, in the video earlier where I said this isn't the anise hyssop, I guess uh, this uh, Ag Agastachi is also called a uh, giant uh, hyssop. This one doesn't smell like anise though, like uh, anise has a distinct like black licorice kind of smell. The flowers smell like really like, like lavender. Cool. Yeah, let's see here. I'm going to have to uh, hey, I got this smelched. But uh, so this is like one of those ones that they eat like one of those milkweeds that they eat on like when they're caterpillars. I wonder if they like uh, the flowers. So it gets these like little orange flowers. So I'm gonna bring this back over and put it somewhere. Hey, my peppermint started blooming again too. Check it out. I just put it in the middle of this table for now. Um, hmm, where's a good spot for orange on? Right here. Yeah, since uh, this little Japanese lily, or uh, Asian lily, I mean, that definitely won't be blooming this year. Let's see if we can get this. Maybe I should plant this. I'll try this in there. I should get have these old ones first. But yeah, this is one of those milkweeds that they eat when they're caterpillars. I'm Sure, they like the flowers. So, um, I'm 
maybe uh, plant this. It doesn't survive up here. It's it, it lives down south. I um, mean, you know, we're in Pennsylvania here, by Pittsburgh, so it definitely can't really stay in the ground. But I could, I could dig it in and dig it out, or just get a new one next year. There's only like seven bucks or something. I think. I like to mixture these two fluxes together with the bright pink and the darker. But uh, and today, oh, just one, just one on this hibiscus today. Just one of these today. This one's closing up. All right, yeah, I was just excited. I seen a monarch flying by my head, so I, uh, I, I moved the doll wheels up here too, and I put some of the sweet potatoes up in the front where the doll wheels were. But I figured I'll make, we'll make a nice little border. I like this little pink one here. This one's actually a pretty cool color. Let's, uh, let's see if I can block this sun. This one's like a darker. I have no idea what, what, what color this one is. This one's yellow. <laughs> I'll have to wait till that one blooms to see what color that one is. I didn't even know what like this pink one was going to be. Uh, this yellow one had like some old yellow, like an old yellow one uh, when I bought it that was, so I knew that one was yellow and this one had this one, purple one, so I knew this one was like a purple um, this one wasn't up yet I, I, but I just got these uh, like six, five or six days ago yeah, let's see how, it, how many different butterfly species I can get around here this year Alright everyone, have a good one.